Hey guys, welcome back. It's your boy Sir Drinks a lot, and today you tuned into a lap it up. That's right, Celsius Peach Five. Look at this sparkling white peach edition. What's a white peach? Well, uh, ten calories. Oh, two grams of carbs. Zero sugars, vitamin C. Riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, biotin, pathetic acids, calcium, chromium, sodium. <coughs> I don't want to make this No, sorry. Um, but yeah, Celsius is live fit or live fit. Live fit, I'm guessing. Ow. I. Oh, I was enjoying. Um, my meal of choice, which is General Tso's chicken. Uh, there's a special on four egg rolls, so I get the four egg rolls. I usually would just do two. And then a large Pepsi. Normally I do a Coke, but they only have Pepsi. And for some reason, it just tastes better. Um, you know, I'm usually not a Pepsi fan, but it just usually tastes better from there. Um... So, I'm sitting here and I'm enjoying it. I bite into this egg roll and I bite into cheek. Like, ah, ah. I can feel it. It's like crunching through sinew. It's like, ah. And I'm like, obviously swallowing egg roll and blood. Not a lot. Not, don't, sorry. I didn't mean to, but like, I'm like, oh, that hurt. Oh, okay. Get food. I took a drink. A drink. You know, uh, got an ice cube in it, or holding up to it, and put my finger in. Ah, ah, you know, like going, oh, there was a little bit of blood. I was like, oh, ah, and so I still have food. My brain is like, uh, I don't want to, you know, but I'm hungry. I only have a little bit because <laughs> eat egg rolls first, you know. Uh, so, that was a, that was a thing last night, and now my inside of my cheek is kind of sore. Anyway, let's see how this works. Um, so yeah. Let's see. 2005 Vitamin Industries Entrepreneurs created Celsius. How does it work? Celsius prior, proprietary... Meta Plus formula includes green tree with oh green tea with EGCG ginger and guarana seed turns on thermogenesis a process that boosts the body's metabolic rate drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities is proven to energize accelerate metabolism burn body fat and calories Celsius provides essential energy to live fit I wonder if that's true because some I remember. Is it Monster or Rain or somebody was getting sued. We talked about that, I think, at one point. Um, because they were, they couldn't prove, they didn't have FTC or FCC or what it was. No, um, um, Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Uh, um, or any kind of scientific proof that their stuff did this. As as I'm drinking it, I don't really, don't really get anything. And but as soon as you stop, that's when you get that you get the peach flavor. It's just like, bam. It's a nice, it's a nice flavor. Um, I mean, it does remind me of peach. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's just, it's, it's um, I don't know. It's not. 
Yeah, it's not bad. <coughs> I'm about to go over the, the rim here because that's too big. We got road work. Okay, there we go. Just clear the. Um, people don't tell us. Like, hey, I, I know that some people talk about, like, you know, tasting the peach or the melon or the, the rind or the, the center. I'm. You know the, the spot around the seed that's a little rough? That's what I'm... Sorry. That's what I'm reminded of. For some reason. Um, I don't know why. I said it tastes like a peach, but for some reason... That spiky, harder area on the center around the actual seed tastes like peach. Um... A little crunchier, I think, usually. Um, that's what I'm reminded of, flavor-wise. Um, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure why, because I don't really think of it as actually tasting any different. But that's the real, that's the, that's the crook, the crust, or whatever the, that's the, I, that's what I'm getting, that, that flavor is reminding me <coughs> of... Biting into the peach. Oh, damn it. Um, you know, from, from that end, instead of just like, you know, the sliced piece. But, uh, yeah. Or maybe a, a lightly un, like quite, not quite ripened one, like slightly unripe, where it's still sweet, but it's kind of tough. That's what I'm getting with the white peach. Yeah. And you give me the garana too. I think there's a the sweet has a bit of a odd tang to it. But it's not bad. It definitely is not bad. Um I don't know if I would drink this on a regular basis. But um yeah. I can see this in one of the um maybe with some orange juice. That could probably work really well. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I'm trying my cake, man. That sucks. I hate doing that. Ah. Uh. 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 <laughs> Ever had like a something you just want to like surgically remove it was like all the puffed up area I want to go back to normal just make it all back to normal you know make it all smooth not puffy it's like um I don't okay I don't care for pimple popping videos per se but they are kind of intriguing it's kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine I don't go out and seek it but if I if for some reason, I'm scrolling through my TikTok, and one pops up. I might kind of go to that page and kind of look around and see if there's anything really, really interesting, you know. Um, but I can only watch so many before it's kind of like, okay, I got to move on. They've got to be really, really good ones, you know. Everyone's like, oh, it's just disgusting. It's gross. Um... I think one of the cooler ones, uh, well, okay, one of the ones I like seeing is when they're removing them from animals, because it's just like, I get, it's kind of like, you're helping the animal, you know, you're getting this nasty thing out of the animal, so I like that, I, li I like that, that, that saving the animal kind of thing, and getting these things out, and like, yes, it is out, the baby is okay, you know, uh, cat or dog or something, you know, and it's like that's always kind of fun to watch but I would hate to have to live through that if, if I were the one having to remove it, I would feel so 
I would be kind of freaked out. Obviously, after you've done it a few times, you become kind of a bit more of an expert in it, you know, through experience. And it was plus, there's the whole concept of jobs got to be done, you know. If you have the uh, expertise for it, you do it. Period. But I don't know. I always, I'm a fat man. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and I can't lie to you because you can see me. But I've always kind of wanted to, and I don't know why I'm starting on this this tangent. I guess it's kind of like doing the job, like actually doing something that's, you know. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of camping, but I do kind of have this kind of a fascination with the DIY build, like uh, go out into the woods and build a build a house from sticks and stuff. Just with, like, your bag of tools, you know, you get to find fresh water source. Um, you want to find a good flat area. Um, you got to find a lot of trees, you know, a lot of smaller trees and brush. Stone works as well. Uh, if the ground has any kind of, if there's any kind of clay you can use to make, like, bricks and stuff. Or brush or something, and then you can... Bill and just in scraping, like scraping out or just digging out this, the floor, and then I just the idea of doing it and watching these people do it themselves just makes me just be like, this is, you know. But then again, it's like having like I had a bug out bag a while back. It's just, it was a stupid thing, um, but I had like water straws and I had. Um, like a, a bag of utensils. Um, I had a compass. I had a mag I think I have a magnet. I might not have a magnifying glass. I might need to get that. Uh, screwdriver set. I mean, like, you know, tool set. Um, and uh, starter matches, you know, starters, and then water tablets. Um, and I have stuff like that. But I like I you know I would I would need to get more like I need to get a first aid kit. I'd want to get like a little radio thing, the, the which also a light, um, and uh, the be prepared thing. Plus, I I think it would be kind of cool to go and just build a little hut, you know. And I could I could go out in the woods and do it at my house. I mean I live in the woods, so I could go do that. But part of me is. Just kind of like, well, that's a lot of work. But I think I kind of, I would hope that if I press up against the wall, that I would at least be able to do something. Because that's what I, we did as a kid. We like dug holes and we got wood and we created little things. And me and my brother were were really good about that. He went into construction. I went into working on locks. So he's more the builder than I am, and he's he's a big fan of like. Uh, power tools and stuff. Me, not so much. I mean, I like tools, but like, you give me a chainsaw and I cut up trees. Cool. I cut up a tree. You know, it's that's fine. My brother, he's just like, you like that, huh? And I'm like, eh, yeah. I mean, but I just. I've, I've never been big on power tools. Uh, but a lathe, um, like, like Dremel's woodworking tools, I like those. Those are nice. <sighs> I don't know. I'm still sleepy. Anyway, yeah, sorry. I just unload on you like that. I hope you all are doing well. <laughs> anyway, as always, I am Sir Drinks a Lot. And I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love. Well, time it goes to enjoy it all down to the last drop. Catch you guys later.